Um, can somebody press record? No I guess I'll talk about this one guy. <laughs> yeah, him. You know. Girl, he gave me that. Hey, you guys. I know you didn't get to go to the visual for Mrs. Malia, but I got it right here for you and a little special surprise in the beginning. Hope you guys like it. Thank you. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think. Enjoy. And every video that I come out with, I premiere, and I be down in the comment section, so make sure to hit me up. All right. Enjoy. Hey! Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck is you doing? <laughs> hey! Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck is you doing? <laughs> she was smart. And she touched a lot of lives. She did. And talk, talk about the teddy bears, the balloons, these colors. Are these some of her favorite things for that day? What, what does she love? What does she enjoy doing? Well, she loved Baby Shark. She loved huh. pink. She loved um, Minnie Mouse. <laughs> one of her favorite characters. Yes. Baby Shark was the beginning, and then it went to Minnie Mouse, you know, and she liked the Spongebob too, but Malia just was my, she was just my everything, she was, and I hate that she's gone, but I want justice for Malia. And I, and I hate that I have to ask. What's been the hardest part for this week? Because I can't imagine being in your situation. But what's been the hardest part for you? Is it not knowing? Is it the, the waiting? Hold the shot. Not knowing if that was my baby. If that was my two. And you know now that that was our baby. Has has authorities been for my children? What did that happen?
really careful. It's really hard. Not Can I have your full name again? Rosalie Jimerson. Could you spell that? Rosalie is R-O-S-A-L-I-E Jimerson, J-I-M-E-R-S-O-E. And is there a list of events that's taking place tonight? Are you guys just gathering or is there like a specific things you'll be doing tonight? No, so just gathering here and I think there's are so sweet for everyone. And I'm amazing, you made it! <laughs> This banner is presented to Miss Rose with her heart and her love for my community. This is our A-Lift community. We don't kill kids over here. Every parent should stand next to their child. A woman carry a child's strength for nine months. A man cannot conceive the pain of a woman. You should also take your child with your heart, your strength, and your love. It's another child, two Malias and 15 months in a -Lift, a mile apart from each other. Malia Davis and Malia Bass. We want justice. We have to find out who took her life. I'm looking at the timeline from Thursday night to Saturday morning to see who walked in that house and took her out. There's no way she should have died. She's precious. We yell Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. But we kill all people in our community. This is not Black Lives Matter. This is hatred. There's evil in this world. And as parents, we should protect and love our children. Every mother and father should love their kids and protect them. Be careful of who you sleep with at night. Sure, right. Strangers come in your path every single day and watch your child. They're predators around this community. But this banner is from my heart, from the Aliens community in the city of Houston, to fight for justice. And I pray to God, I pray that these cowards, oh cowards, come forward and speak. I'm tired of our kids that are black and brown getting murdered. Black lives matter, brown lives matter, all lives matter. But this is wrong. Look at this photo. She was an angel. She was a saint. This is so wrong in so many ways. My name is John Marsden. I'm the founder of Houston's Unsolved Homicides. Last name M-A-R-S. D-E-N, first name John, J-O-H-N. But this banner, Miss Rose, is for you to cherish us for the rest of your life. Whenever you walk, whenever you speak, you say her name. What's her name? Malia. Malia. What's her name? Malia. 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 Don't ever forget your granddaughter. 
We keep her name and memories alive by speaking by her. Speaking every day until you get justice. Even when away the pain. The pain will last an eternity, a lifetime. But when you have God and family, this is your family. You can suppress any evil that Satan has against you. And I love you. It's my first time meeting you. And I thank the young ladies who put this together and this community is a blessing to have strong people in our community. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, John. You're welcome. I appreciate it, Turn this way. Come on. You mind, you mind uh, taking this real quick for me? Come on. I made them block. Come on. Get right there. John, they want to they wanna take it. Yeah, mind forget it. Oh, y'all John, uh -oh, excuse me. They want to bring you right there. You can leave it there. You can leave it there. All right.
like the blue and orange them though. Okay. Yes, guys, we just got to protect our kids, man. We um, pray that we get justice. We, we pray that someone come forward and speak on this, and we get answers. No child should be left alone. No child should be murdered. We don't accept murder of any children or anyone or any type of violence. Um, it's sad, man. Two million years and 15 months apart. Two million years. It's, it's very heartbroken, guys. It's very heartbroken, guys. Precious little girl, two years old, haven't even started life as yet. Oh, <laughs> Add a balloon to it. Add a balloon to it. Mission, I'm not with you today. Yeah, they on the way. They coming right. They coming from way uh, by the airport. The Thank you. Thank you for everything. Yeah. Good. Matter of fact, I have. I'm gonna give. Uh, Rose, the, the flowers, some of the flowers that we had, so she can keep them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Mom, you want some water? Yeah, okay. That's right. Oh, I was already there. You want my phone? Let me get the flower. Uh, I don't want this. You're gonna be the audiovisual person to um, be get here. Just keep on recording. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hold it straight though. Keep holding it down. You gotta turn around towards the grandma. It's not gonna put me in the direction of the
don't throw them. Oh, okay. my baby. No, 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 Yeah, he does it all the time. How you do that? When it comes up, it'll say wave and you just tap it. Oh, okay. Bro, you be ready to beat me up. Lining me something every day. You all lie too, they can hear you. Get over here. You come back. We're going to go to the car. I'm not in the car. For what? I want to show you. What? It's because earlier I told you I was going to talk to the car. Can I get you over there? Thank you. Mm-hmm. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I get a picture? Stand right there. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, trust me. Trust me. Let me see, Hattie. Somebody said whoever filming is filming horrible. Huh? <laughs> whoever did what? Whoever filming. I got people texting me talking about who filming. Right. Take the phone away from them. <laughs> I might have did feel you for some time, y'all. You Let me go over here and get this thing. This is beautiful. I might have spelled a whole name out. I guess the family signed it. Everybody see this. Somebody may know something when they see something. So people, if you know something, you see something, please say something. Please. I'm holding the balloons too, y'all. Oh, go, go. I'm just going to load some stuff. Please. Oh, okay. What about you want to eat? And I have balloons too, y'all. No, she did not deserve that. She deserves to be here with people who love her. Her name spelled in balloons over there. The mom is not here. Y'all, please stop asking about the mom. 
This has nothing to do with the mom nor the boyfriend. Thank you. Stop asking about where the mother and the boyfriend is at. This has nothing to do with them. This is all about Malia Bass. This is justice for her. This is about her. It's a balloon release for her. This is people coming out to show their love to her. Yes, we are fighting for justice, guys. And if you have any information, please, please reach out to the authorities so we can get answers to, to this precious little girl's life, which is wrong. You know, timeline is from Thursday night to um, early Saturday morning. If you guys see anything or know anything, for it, man, it's not right. Let her, let her rest in peace the right way. We need justice for these babies that have been murdered in these streets. We need justice. <laughs> And that's what that is about. Come forward and speak about what happened in the yeah, she already spoke. the family. They already spoke, had their um they talked with everybody. Did you want to get the candles out the car? Yeah, I'll get the candles. Let me get it. You, get it. you can, you don't have to. Just release we can just release the balloons. Oh wow, they serve the food and everything. Wow. That is so nice. Wind is kind of kicking. Yeah, yeah, they already gave it to her. Did you did you see it? I saw it on Facebook. When oh they were doing yeah, it. I okay. Was okay. You're not saw it this morning. Oh yeah. I saw the banner this morning. We had a beautiful banner for the baby. Yeah, they were saying no go no go fund me account. No go fund me account. Correct, Nunu. No, no. They were saying no go fund me account because I don't want people trying to send money somewhere. So no go fund me account.
Keisha, I'm waiting on my girl, my sis to get in. Sis and V. Babe. Come on, mom. You too. I already got everybody. I want everybody. Come on, John. Done. Come on. Come on. Oh. Yeah, grab your phone. Can you do it sideways too? Like that. I'm smiling. I just want to know. It's behind the house. <laughs> I thank you, brother. Once again, love you, man. Appreciate you. Love and support. Yes, yes. All right. Oh. Yeah, I know. My baby on the phone. I'm always doing something. Yes, guys. It's just a lot going on right now. And we just need to come forward, you know, more. Got it. Thank you. In the apartment, the young ladies, this one ladies will help organize this right here. It's a beautiful event and they cook food for everyone. It's a good turnout and it shows that people actually do care and love the community. So we actually need you guys for help in the community. We need your help. We need someone knows something. Someone's seen something. Someone knows something. We have answers already, but we need the right answers. Witnesses came forward already, but the thing is, you need a little more push. A little more push. <laughs> I had to stop speaking because I was starting to get emotional earlier. You know, and um, we just need to fight more, man. We shouldn't have to lose our loved one due to violence, man. It's wrong to lose our loved ones due to violence. We should be fighting more harder to protect our children. You should never leave your child alone. You should never leave your babies unattended for no no reason, no reason. Maybe if you're in the shower or in the restroom, but beside your child should never be attended. You know, not even then, have the door crack, have the door open, you know. It says this is, this is something that hurts the most because you lost all these kids, Arby West, you know, got murdered last year, Malia Davis, Sarah Patino, <clears throat> you know, lost their lives. And this year you have another situation with um, Taraji Carter, three years old, lost her life, now Malia. You know, so we just gotta keep on supporting the family. I'm gonna tag Miss Rose, the grandmother. I'm gonna tag Malia, grandmother in the bottom. Let us tag during you guys. You guys reach out to her and please um, prayers. So I just tag name at the bottom. I'm going to keep her name tagging the bottom of the post so you guys could um, reach out to her and um, just uplift her with positive prayers. Send her friend requests. Um, just give her prayers and support as much as she needs because she really needs your support and help right now. This is something she's missing her baby. Her baby. Support her, let her know that she's not alone, that she has people that's there fighting for her. I'm not, you know, I think the funeral is next week. Um, so, the viewing, uh, uh, the viewing to the public, so I'll, I'll let you guys know where the viewing is at and everything. So, um, we love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Um, this is a lot, man. Um, this is a lot. I just, I'm tired of. The babies being murdered. I'm tired of the babies being murdered in these streets and nothing is nothing is done about it, you know. Rest in peace. You see Bianca Jones. My condolences to the family members.
Oh, her parents are not on Oh, I think her dad's coming from Dallas. Yes. Thank you, thank you, mama. Uh, just a lot going on right now, man. Just like, I'm just happy that the, 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 the young ladies in the tennis of the apartment came together and did something beautiful for the family. <coughs> this really hurts. Look, they made food. They cooked food for people to eat. They made food for people to have. That's a blessing, man. I, I love these two young ladies in this apartment complex because they came together heartfelt just because they know and understand the pain of losing someone that you love and care about. I'm about to jump off this live in a minute and just spend some time with the grandmother, you know, and just letting her, we, we're here for her as much as possible. We just, man, this, this is hard, this hurts, man. It really is another baby. I just want someone to come forward, man. We can't keep on having our kids be murdered and kidnapped in the city, you know, any city, any state, man, any country, and people are not speaking about it. You know, this, this, this has to end, man. How can you live with yourself? How can you live with yourself? How can you live with yourself? You know, I don't know what happened. I wasn't here when everything took place, but I'm just trying to spread awareness of what happened. I cannot talk bad about the mother or the boyfriend or whoever else. I'm not going to do that. I just want to get justice. You know, you don't know what happened behind closed doors. You don't know what happened. You have so much predators that molest kids that wait for you to slip and make, you know, make, wait for you to make a mistake and take your child away from you. It could be somebody they know. It could be a stranger. We do not know. We don't know. So we need to find out what happened. We need to know what happened. We need answers. We need to get justice for her. And it's beautiful. It is real beautiful, God. This is the A-Leaf community over in um, Beach and Woodcrest, A-Leaf community, guys. Every community actually stand and fight for the for the community, especially when it comes to little innocent kids being murdered. So, and to all the families out there lost a loved one due to violence, gun violence, domestic violence, human trafficking, whatever situation is, car accident, illness, uh, my prayers goes out to you guys 100% from my heart, from Houston and South Homicide team, from the, our community to your community, from my family to your family, because we have to we have to get answers eventually of what happened. And only God knows what happened. When we made that banner, that banner. You got the, the small campus? Yeah, check with Audra. I'm gonna start making the car. Yeah, Audra's gonna start doing it. She got it. No, she bought a car. Yeah, so we definitely got to keep on fighting. Oh, yeah. So I appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. You know, it's, it's, it's heartfelt when communities come together and fight. Look at this, man. This is, this is, this is, they, they cook, man. They cook for this family. But we need answers, guys, straight up, for real. This, this is getting ridiculous now. Somebody knows something out there. Somebody's seen something. I mean, the answers is there already. They just need a little more, a little more. So that's why I'm going to say, I can't wait till the camera footage come out. You know, someone walked in that apartment and walked out. With her deceased or alive. Either one. The last time I was, she was there, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Whatever day she was there at. You know, that's the situation. So hopefully, but, all right, guys, you guys stay blessed. I did what you asked me to do. I shared the video, and I'm about to get off. Have a blessed night. Pray for the family. Thank you. He fought for us to live life, to make a future for that child, for that child, for that child. But see, we so wrapped up in the wrong things in life, we don't focus on what God had planned for us. See, this is all planned for a reason and purpose to bring us together as one, as a family. So if we keep on fighting and pushing for justice, we will get believe justice.
I'll say it again. I'm focusing on the timeline. I'm focused on the last time someone saw her on Thursday. Through FaceTime, through Messenger video, that's what I'm focusing on. On to Saturday morning. I'm saying this for a reason and a purpose. The timeline is everything. And it's sad that she was found 15 miles away in a bayou, floating. And I hope the fool that did this is watching this. Because we're not going to rest. We want justice. No justice. No justice. No peace. But Malia was an angel. She's grandma came way across the country. Right away. This is what a grandmother does. This is what a parent does. All right. All right. You see, I don't care if you're male or female. You fight for your child. You're right. You said you're going to protect them. Protect them. So how, once again, how does Black Lives Matter if we can't protect Malia? How does Black Lives Matter if we can't yell her name out? How does Black Lives Matter if we can't fight for not only Malia, but every single child? If they're black, they're white, Latino, the gender doesn't matter. I told you, you see, because we shouldn't go to death well, to through violence. Call. He told me, what do I need for your call? I said, how you say it? Cam shit? I'm hurt. He said, they need because I'm tired of getting phone calls. Like, yeah, that kids are dying, the parents be negligent, and I'm being real. He told me, you know, you know, you should Cam never leave a child like, behind. Are you mad at me? He said, so that's why I'm hurt. I cannot talk bad about them. I cannot even speak bad about them. Because we don't know what happened in closed doors. Young ladies. I'm going to speak on this. I want you guys to be careful. It's my brother. Oh, yeah, he's trying to know. Okay? Just because he got new jerseys on, throw the shirt on. Don't fall for that stupidness. It's called entrapment. A guy come to you, oh, you're so fine, girl. You're so good. Let me see your picture. 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 Man and females is okay to be alone because you know what? I'd rather you be alone to protect your child than have someone take that child away from you by force. See, a two-year-old might not know how to find a way home from the south side to a -League. But a two-year-old knows how to walk from that door to this door. And if anyone saw her out here walking around, they would knock on doors to say, is this your child? So I'm tired of the foolishness and the lies and the mockeries. Hmm. I want justice for her. Exactly. Justice for Malia. Justice for Malia. And my prayers go out to the family. It's going to be a long battle. Yes, it's going to be so many days you wake up crying. I cry still. And it's going to be three years for me. And see, I'm going to tell you something. I raised Fabian when he was two years old. That's my own son. Okay? So when someone says your stepson or stepdaughter, no, that's my child. And if that was your child, you protect that child. Right. You don't make no prayer to come around that door. You never leave that door unlocked. What a parent does every night, they open that door and check on their child. Exactly. A parent know the child pattern, how they walk, how they talk, how they sleep, how they eat. And that's what a parent does. And that's the real parent. Sometimes we gotta separate from people to get the truth. Okay? Sometimes we gotta break apart. Sometimes you might be in a situation you're afraid for your own life and safety. And that comes through domestic violence. Because the abuser will not let you be alone. They will trap you because they're afraid of you more than you're afraid of them. See, everyone said they were thugs. But when it comes to crimes, they run like a punk. And I'm being real about that. But this community here, we don't kill kids. We don't. We don't. We protect kids. If you're making a zero dollars to a million dollars, we protect kids in the Amy. And that's what we do. I love you guys. I appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you. If ever, regardless, whatever gender, however your family goes, if you ever have that moment where you feel like you're stressed out, you need help. You need someone to come get your kid. You need, you, you, you. It happens, okay? If nobody is perfect, we all have the moments where everything on in life is, is dragging us down and we have our kids and it's so much to take in. But please know that you're not alone. Not at all. 
there and they're like, hey, drop, drop it. it. Drop it. it. To raise a kid, a yep. Village. And I love that we're out here today, but I really just want to stress that to you guys. If there's ever a time that you need someone to watch your baby, somebody loves your baby, you know who loves your baby. You send your baby off. If it's going to hurt, it might hurt, it may, it, 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 it may sting a little. It's okay. Hold it's okay. It's okay. Speak for her. This is the second Malia that we've come out here for. The first one was my little cousin. And we still fighting for justice today. I'm angry, but I'm hurt. I'm hurt because these kids don't ask to be here. These kids didn't ask for y'all to lay down and make them. Oh, no. That's right. These kids deserve to be protected with everything in us. I have a disabled, we have a disabled son. And I'd be damned. Mm -hmm. If anybody, anybody raise a voice to him, my daughter, she in San Antonio, but I'd be damned. Even if my mama raised a finger in the wrong way to her. Hmm. We have dogs. We have cats, bears, tigers, lions that protect they cubs better than some of these parents are protecting their kids right. and it's sad all right if you can lay down and make them you can stand there and you can protect them yeah. that baby didn't deserve she had it to her just the same way as my little cousin didn't deserve to be drawn on the side of the highway somewhere my heart and prayers go out to the family and like i told you I don't care what time of the night it is. If you just need to vent, you call that phone because I'm going to answer. Text it and I'm going to respond. Y'all, we have to protect our babies. If you a new age mother, as I call them, and you don't know which way to go, I'm pretty sure somebody in your family know which way to go. Get that baby to that family member. If nobody in your family want them, I'm sure y'all have a fire department that's close by. That's right. Police department. They have adoption agencies. Do not take that baby's life because guess what? It's not your job to do that. It's God's job to call us home when he ready. Y'all babies, y'all told y'all babies. Tell your babies you love them. Mm -hmm. Females and males too. Because believe it or not, you have some men that are not strong and let a woman run them to the ground. <laughs> If you get in a relationship, if they can't love your child first before they love you, you need to walk away. That's right. If he or she raised their hand one time, don't fall for that I love you, I'm sorry. Because they don't do it again. Leave. Learn your mate or learn the person you're trying to be with before you commit to that relationship. Before you commit to that marriage. Because the way that they are before y'all get married is not guaranteed. If you see they not treating your children accordingly, <laughs> chunk the deuces, ain't nothing wrong with it. Like Jenna said, be by yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You can do bad by yourself. Mm -hmm. You gotta love you. Oh, 
You can love anybody else, but they can love you. Exactly. As a community, if anybody heard, seen, know, let's get out of that. I ain't gonna no snitch. Snitches get stitches. Cause the same way the people that did it go to hell because you didn't open your mouth and you said, you know, guess what? It's a special place. Put your pride to the side. Cause again, these babies didn't ask to be here. So didn't. It's not their fault. I'm Pastor Sibirang. I go by the radical I'm the vice president of the Unsolved Homicide. And I got all in touch with home. In touch with Because your life is today. Wow. Oh. Where did you go to stop? Where? They say it takes a village. Are we a village? Yes. Are we a village? Yes. Why are we not protected? That's right. Why? These kids should not be alone. I look at my babies every single day. And tell them that they have a chance. Why wow. is this continuing to happen? Why? But Lil Davis should have been enough. Mm -hmm. Jasmine Bowen should have been enough. Sierra Patino should have been enough. It should have been enough. It should. And the question why I should not be here asking. We should not be asking why. If you need help, get. I want everybody to take out their cell phone and take down this number. Cynthia, you see your son. I'm in my bed at 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm down there. Yes. Cynthia, Nobody you see your niece. Goes without. <laughs> With Zadie is here. Come on now. Come on now. Nobody. And I'm so honored to say God has blessed me to bless others. We gotta start blessing each other. We gotta start patting each other on the back. And get out this damn mindset. What goes here stays here. Because it don't. Because we're hurt. We're hurting ourselves. When they take our education system away, what do we have? Nothing. So we're not educating our kids who are the street. for this to end. And this baby didn't deserve this. She did. Oh. No baby deserved this. <laughs> Wake up, America. The government don't give a damn about us because if they did, there would be no something popular for us. We wouldn't be out here with balloons, candles. We got to start protecting ourselves. We gotta start helping each other. If you see somebody struggling, help them. Yes. Pull them to the side. It's say, like, baby, I got you. You don't have to do it public. Do it private. Pull it behind the closed door. 
help them. If you see them struggling, help them. These new age parents, they don't understand. They know. They know. This democracy is a mess. And we're not doing nothing to help it. We're hurting and continue to hurt ourselves. Grandparents should not have to wake up worried about their grandkids. Brothers and sisters should not have to worry about if they're going to see their siblings on the next day. We have to stop, y'all. We got to start helping each other. And stop looking down, thinking that we're better than each other. We are all in the same exact same position. Doesn't matter what you got in your apartment. But when you follow them taxes, we all get a tax return. Mm. And it doesn't matter what color skin you are. Because the graveyard don't have no respect or no care what kind of race you are. Because they're going to put you in the ground whether you like it or not. Mm. Hug each other. Care for each other. Because I would not stop fighting for these kids. I will not stop fighting for your kids. Because when I go to Houston City Hall, I'm fighting for all of us. When they see our team come through that front door, they running out the back. Come on now. Because they do not want to hear what we have to say. But I'm there to make them hear what we have to say. Pray, y'all. Touch each other. Wrap your arms around somebody and tell them that you love them. Because you never know what the last day is. Love each other. You kids, go get an education. If you're struggling with a subject, call me. We can stay up all night. We can Zoom. That's the option. We're already in a pandemic. When is enough going to be enough? All they're going to do is release something else on us. I love each and every one of y'all. Like I said, if you need a phone call, you need somebody to talk to, you need somebody to come watch your kids, call 832 422. Five nine five six, and I guarantee you, somebody is coming. Y'all have to know too. Don't get me. Come on. What was the number? Eight three two. Okay. Okay. The number is 832 422 The number in Spanish 832 Bow your head and pray for this girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody in a relationship? Moment of silence. Yeah. Okay. Moment of silence. Moment of silence. For the baby girl. Heavenly Father, we come to you today with open arms, asking you to order our steps on tonight and for the near future. Protect our kids as we trust you, we adore you, and we respect everything that you do. Sometimes we don't understand and we ask you why. We always order to ask and tell not to ask you why. But sometimes we just need an explanation. And I ask you to...
Give that sign to someone, anyone, that would bring justice to this family. As we praise and thank you and glorify you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Ready? This is for Malia. Okay. 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 Okay.